my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. We are experiencing very difficult times due to the ongoing pandemic. All the faithful in India, from Kashmir to Kanyakumari and from Mumbai to Shillong, are spending this hour in prayer as one family. Let us pray for the health of every human being in this world. Let us remember in particular all suffering and sick people. Kindly pray for all the deceased bishops, priests, religious, lay faithful and our dear ones to whom we were not able to give a decent funeral because of pandemic restrictions. This prayer service is being conducted from the tombs of St. Thomas, St. Francis Xavier and St. Teresa of Calcutta and from the major Marian basilicas of our country. I request all of you kindly use the text of the prayer and participate actively and consciously in this prayer service. Let us pray as one family to our Lord and seek the intercession of Blessed Mother and our beloved saints to help us in this time of pain and suffering. Blessed be the Lord, blessed be the Lord, the God of mercy, the God who saves. I shall not fear the dark of night, nor the arrow that flies by day. me from the nets of sinful ones. He will protect me from the wicked hands. Beneath the shadow of his wings I will rejoice to find a dwelling place secure. Blessed be the of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you, and peace from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, our refuge in every danger, 
to whom we turn in our distress in faith we pray look with compassion on the afflicted grant eternal rest to the dead comfort to mourners healing to the sick peace to the dying strength to health care workers and wisdom to our leaders and the courage to reach out to all in love so that together we may give glory to your holy name through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit god forever and ever amen out of the depths i cry to you o lord O Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleas for mercy. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. If you, O Lord, should mark inquiries, O Lord, who could stand but with you there is forgiveness that you may be feared out of the depths i cry to you o lord wait for the lord my soul waits and in his word i hope my soul waits for the lord more than watchman for the morning more than watchman for the morning out of the depths i cry to you o lord o israel hope in the lord for with the lord there is steadfast love and with him is plentiful redemption and he will redeem israel from all its inquities out of the depths i cry to you o lord The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Martha went and called her sister Mary, saying in private, "The teacher is here and is calling for you." And when she heard it. she rose quickly and went to him now when mary came to where jesus was and saw him she fell at his feet saying to him lord if you had been here my brother would not have died when jesus saw her weeping and the jews who had come with her also weeping He was deeply moved in his spirit and greatly troubled and when he said where have you laid him they said to him lord come and see jesus wept then jesus deeply moved again came to the tomb it was a cave and a stone lay against it jesus said take away the stone martha the sister of the dead man said to him 
Lord, by this time there will be an odor, for he has been dead for four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believed, you would see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I knew that you always hear me. But I said this on account of the people standing around, that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said these things, he cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The man who had died came out, his hands and feet bound with linen strips, and his face wrapped with a cloth. Jesus said to them, Unbind him and let him go. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, o Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brother bishops, fathers, sisters, brothers, and friends. We have just heard the narrative of the raising of Lazarus. It was a moment of great darkness for Mary and Martha. Theirs was a warm, closely knit family in Bethany, whose hospitality our Lord had often enjoyed. They were just a brother and two sisters and the brother had been cruelly snatched away by death. Was he sick for some time? We do not know. All we know is that death had cruelly snatched him away and had shattered their peace. When the sisters heard that Jesus was coming to Bethany, Martha rushed to him and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Do we sense an element of hope in this cry? Faith there certainly was. And in it perhaps a small seed of hope. Or did she not also cry out, I know that even now, Whatever you ask of the Father, the Father will grant you. My dear brothers and sisters, we are in the midst of a COVID-19 pandemic. Each one of us has lost friends, colleagues, people we know, perhaps even close relatives. We were unable to give them an appropriate funeral because of the lockdown which only added to the pain. The last words of comfort that we wished to utter remained unspoken. For all of us, these were moments of great grief and darkness, as it was for Mary and Martha. What can we do? To whom can we turn? There is no alternative but to turn to Jesus at this moment. The coronavirus has affected our lives, every aspect of it. Our pastoral ministry as priests, the relationship to others at home, the apostolate of our religious, the work of our lay groups, our association with colleagues at work. It has taken away our self-confidence, our ability to be masters of every situation as unexpected as the death of Lazarus was, so was this arrival of the deadly coronavirus. We look around for consolation, brothers and sisters, 
and we can only see mourners around, even more helpless and confused than ourselves. We realize that we can only turn to Jesus at this time. There is no alternative. The first wave came and went. The second wave is slowly receding, but it took with it four bishops, 256 priests, 247 religious sisters, and many, many of our good people, close friends, relatives, colleagues, fellow parishioners, and acquaintances. We wait with trepidation for the threatening third wave and even the fourth wave. What can we do in this situation? How can we prepare ourselves? There is no alternative but to turn to Jesus at this time. At this moment, we are uncertain what the future holds for us, whether the world will ever return to normal, and when and how. We come to the Lord, we pray to him, tearful, confused, hesitant, apprehensive, and we feel helpless, weak, and insecure. In moments like this, we recognize even more clearly that there is no alternative but to turn to Jesus. Brothers and sisters, there are other epidemics in our life, not connected with the coronavirus, but other viruses. Our health, finances, relationships, dreams shattered, plans ruined, failures looming, uncertainties of future, sin, violence, guilt, and shame. COVID-19 has taught us one lesson, as did Martha and Mary. There is no alternative but to turn to Jesus in such moments. God bless you. God of love, we, the people of India, turn to you with prayerful hearts and with confidence in your loving presence among us now and every moment of our life. We stand before you as people of hope, trusting in your care and protection. May we be comforted by your love especially during these anxious times. Hum, Hamare Sant Pita Francis, और कलीसिया के सभी अधिकारियों के लिए प्रार्थना करते हैं कि ईश्वर उन्हें ज्ञान और साहस प्रदान कर सके ताकि महामारी के दौरान वह लोगों की सही तरीके से नेतृत्व कर सके है पिता उन पर अपनी दया दृष्टि रख और उन्हें अपने विश्वास में दृढ़ बनाए रख अपनी आत्मा के वरदानों से उन्हें भरपूर कर दे ताकि वे अपनी प्रजा की सेवा कर सके इसके लिए हम प्रार्थना करते हैं लॉर्ड हियर आवर प्रेयर இரக்கமுள்ள இறைவா உடல் நலக் குறைவு மற்றும் மனவேதனை உள்ளவர்களை உமது மென்மையான பாதத்தில் ஒப்படைக்கிறோம் மற்றவர்களின் வலியை நாங்கள் உணர்வதற்கும் எமது உதவி தேவைப்படுபவர்களுக்கு உதவுவதற்கும் இரக்கமும் கருணையும் கொண்ட இதயத்தை எங்களுக்கு கொடுத்தருளும் அவர்களுக்கு ஆறுதல் அளித்து நலமாக்கியருளும் மேலும் நல வாழ்வையும் மன உறுதியையும் அவர்களுக்கு அளித்துள்ள வேண்டும் என்று உம்மை மன்றாடுகின்றோம் Jesus, we long to 
unong pungkoy jong ki bapang bat unong ai jing start bat jing shen pang jong ki doctor jisu hakani ka por ni bo hakmat jong mi yaki nong sumar jong ki bapang basitom ni kerpat ye mi bemen persat yo men sim jong ka jing start jing shen pang halor ki tu ki basumar yaki bapang basitom Ai ba leng ba ka jing ya rap jong men sim ba khoi kin yo abor ban ai ti lot met bat men sim ban shakri yekitu ki ba pang ba shitom ba la pen kham ti haki ngi du wai ro na ka benta ki doktor ki nas ki scientist bat ki nong shakri pa ba ba leng ba ka jing trei shitom jong ki kin la ban ai ya ka jing sumar jong ki na ka benta ki ba pang ngi ker pat ya mi ko try lord hear our prayer yuddham hinsa anyayam aarthika samasya udyogam leka povadam modalaina vaati valla baadha padutunna prajalaku మా తండ్రివైన దేవ ఈ ప్రపంచానికి నీ సాన్నిధ్యలో ఉంచుతున్నాము పరలోక సమస్యలతో యుద్ధము అన్యాయము హింస ఆర్థిక సమస్యలు నిర్దోగము పెదరకము మొదలుగా వాణితో సతమత మవుతున్నాము వారిని మీకు ప్రత్యేక విధంగా అర్పిస్తున్నాము ఈ సమస్యల నుండి కాచి కాపాడుమని అదే విధంగా శారీరక ఆధ్యాత్మిక రోగములతో ఫెదింపబడుతున్నాము వారిపై నీ పవిత్రమైన దివ్యనాలు కుమ్మరించి వారి హృదయంలో మనశ్శాంతి హృదయంలో జీవించు వారందరికీ పరిపూర్ణ అయూర్య ఆరోగ్యము శ్యామము దయా చేయమని ధైర్యము శక్తి నీ సహనము ప్రసాదమని వేడుకొని చున్నాము వలసిగరిగాగి స్థలాంతరగొండ జనరిగాగి హాగు మనయింద దూర ఉళిదు కెలస మాడువ జనరిగాగి ప్రార్థిస్తేవి ప్రభు వివిధ కారణగలిగాగి వలసే హోగువ మత్తు ಅಪಾಯದಲ್ಲಿರುವ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗಾಗಿ ನಾವು ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥಿಸುತ್ತೇವೆ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಯಾವಾಗಲೂ ಒಳ್ಳೆಯ ಮಾರ್ಗದರ್ಶನ ನೀಡಿರಿ ಹಾಗೂ ಅವರನ್ನು ನಿಂದಿಸುವ ಜನರಿಂದ ಸುರಕ್ಷಿತವಾಗಿರಿಸಿರಿ ಡ್ರಗ್ಸ್ ಕಳ್ಳ ಸಾಗಣೆಗಾರರು ಯುದ್ಧ ಮತ್ತು ಹಿಂಸಾಚಾರದಿಂದ ಅವರನ್ನು ಸಂರಕ್ಷಿಸಿರಿ ಇವರು ನೆಲೆಸುವ ಸ್ಥಳಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಇವರನ್ನು ಸ್ವಾಗತಿಸಲಿ ಅವರು ಮಾಡುವ ಕೆಲಸಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ತೃಪ್ತಿಯನ್ನು ಹಾಗೂ ಮರುಸ್ಥಾಪನೆಯ ಭರವಸೆಯನ್ನು ಕಂಡುಕೊಳ್ಳಲಿ ಅವರೆಲ್ಲರ ಯಾತನೆಗಳು ಶಮನಿಸಲ್ಪಡಲೆಂದು ನಾವು ನಿಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥಿಸುತ್ತೇವೆ ᱚᱠᱚᱭ ᱫᱚ ᱵᱟᱵᱚᱱ ᱩᱨᱩᱢ ᱟᱠᱟᱫ ᱠᱚ ᱟᱨ ᱵᱟᱵᱚᱱ ᱵᱟᱲᱟᱭ ᱟᱠᱟᱫ ᱠᱚ ᱜᱚᱡ ᱦᱚᱲ ᱠᱚ ᱞᱟᱹᱜᱤᱫ ᱟᱨ ᱜᱚᱡ ᱦᱚᱲ ᱠᱚ ᱞᱟᱹᱜᱤᱫ ᱛᱮ ᱟᱵᱚ ᱵᱚᱱ ᱵᱟᱲᱟᱭ ᱟᱠᱟᱫ ᱠᱚ ᱩᱱᱠᱩ ᱫᱚ ᱟᱵᱚ ᱫᱚ ᱵᱟᱵᱚᱱ ᱩᱨᱩᱢ ᱟᱠᱟᱫ ᱠᱚᱣᱟ ᱟᱨ ᱵᱟᱵᱚᱱ ᱵᱟᱲᱟᱭ ᱟᱠᱟᱫ ᱠᱚᱣᱟ ᱜᱚᱡ ᱦᱚᱲ ᱠᱚ ᱞᱟᱹᱜᱤᱫ ᱛᱮ ᱟᱵᱚ ᱫᱚ ᱵᱟᱵᱚᱱ ᱩᱨᱩᱢ ᱟᱠᱟᱫ ᱠᱚᱣᱟ ᱟᱨ ᱵᱟᱵᱚᱱ ᱵᱟᱲᱟᱭ ᱟᱠᱟᱫ ᱠᱚᱣᱟ ᱜᱚᱡ ᱦᱚᱲ ᱠᱚ ᱞᱟᱹᱜᱤᱫ ᱛᱮ ᱟᱵᱚ ᱫᱚ ᱵᱟᱵᱚᱱ ᱩᱨᱩᱢ ᱟᱠᱟᱫ ᱠᱚᱣᱟ ᱟᱨ ᱵᱟᱵᱚᱱ ᱵᱟᱲᱟᱭ ᱟᱠᱟᱫ ᱠᱚᱣᱟ ᱜᱚᱡ ᱦᱚᱲ ᱠᱚ ᱞᱟᱹᱜᱤᱫ ᱛᱮ ᱟᱵᱚ ᱫᱚ ᱵᱟᱵᱚᱱ ᱩᱨᱩᱢ ᱟᱠᱟᱫ ᱠᱚᱣᱟ ᱟᱨ ᱵᱟᱵᱚᱱ ᱵᱟᱲᱟᱭ ᱟᱠᱟᱫ ᱠᱚᱣᱟ ᱜᱚᱡ ᱦᱚᱲ ᱠᱚ ᱞᱟᱹᱜᱤᱫ ᱛᱮ ᱟᱵᱚ ᱫᱚ ᱵᱟᱵᱚᱱ ᱩᱨᱩᱢ ᱟᱠᱟᱫ ᱠᱚᱣᱟ ᱟᱨ ᱵᱟᱵᱚᱱ ᱵᱟᱲᱟᱭ ᱟᱠᱟᱫ ᱠᱚᱣᱟ ᱜᱚᱡ ᱦᱚᱲ ᱠᱚ ᱞᱟᱹᱜᱤᱫ ᱛᱮ ᱟᱵᱚ ᱫᱚ ᱵᱟᱵᱚᱱ ᱩᱨᱩᱢ ᱟᱠᱟᱫ ᱠᱚᱣᱟ ᱟᱨ ᱵᱟᱵᱚᱱ ᱵᱟᱲᱟᱭ ᱟᱠᱟᱫ ᱠᱚᱣᱟ ᱜᱚᱡ ᱦᱚᱲ ᱠᱚ ᱞᱟᱹᱜᱤᱫ ᱛᱮ ᱟᱵᱚ ᱫᱚ ᱵᱟᱵᱚᱱ ᱩᱨᱩᱢ ᱟᱠᱟᱫ ᱠᱚᱣᱟ ᱟᱨ ᱵᱟᱵᱚᱱ ᱵᱟᱲᱟᱭ ᱟᱠᱟᱫ ᱠᱚᱣᱟ ᱜᱚᱡ ᱦᱚᱲ ᱠᱚ ᱞᱟᱹᱜᱤᱫ ᱛᱮ ᱟᱵᱚ ᱫᱚ ᱵᱟᱵᱚᱱ ᱩᱨᱩᱢ ᱟᱠᱟᱫ ᱠᱚᱣᱟ ᱟᱨ ᱵᱟᱵᱚᱱ ᱵᱟᱲᱟᱭ ᱟᱠᱟᱫ ᱠᱚᱣᱟ ᱜᱚᱡ ᱦᱚᱲ ᱠᱚ ᱞᱟᱹᱜᱤᱫ ᱛᱮ ᱟᱵᱚ ᱫᱚ ᱵᱟᱵᱚᱱ ᱩᱨᱩᱢ ᱟᱠᱟᱫ ᱠᱚᱣᱟ ᱟᱨ ᱵᱟᱵᱚᱱ ᱵᱟᱲᱟᱭ ᱟᱠᱟᱫ ᱠᱚᱣᱟ ᱜᱚᱡ ᱦᱚᱲ ᱠᱚ ᱞᱟᱹᱜᱤᱫ ᱛᱮ ᱟᱵᱚ ᱫᱚ ᱵᱟᱵᱚᱱ ᱩᱨᱩᱢ ᱟᱠᱟᱫ ᱠᱚᱣᱟ ᱟᱨ ᱵᱟᱵᱚᱱ ᱵᱟᱲᱟᱭ ᱟᱠᱟᱫ ᱠᱚᱣᱟ ᱜᱚᱡ ᱦᱚᱲ ᱠᱚ ᱞᱟᱹᱜᱤᱫ ᱛᱮ ᱟᱵᱚ ᱫᱚ ᱵᱟᱵᱚᱱ ᱩᱨᱩᱢ ᱟᱠᱟᱫ ᱠᱚᱣᱟ ᱟᱨ ᱵᱟᱵᱚᱱ ᱵᱟᱲᱟᱭ ᱟᱠᱟᱫ ᱠᱚᱣᱟ ᱜᱚᱡ ᱦᱚᱲ ᱠᱚ ᱞᱟᱹᱜᱤᱫ ᱛᱮ ᱟᱵᱚ ᱫᱚ ᱵᱟᱵᱚᱱ ᱩᱨᱩᱢ ᱟᱠᱟᱫ ᱠᱚᱣᱟ ᱟᱨ ᱵᱟᱵᱚᱱ ᱵᱟᱲᱟᱭ ᱟᱠᱟᱫ ᱠᱚᱣᱟ ᱜᱚᱡ ᱦᱚᱲ ᱠᱚ ᱞᱟᱹᱜᱤᱫ ᱛᱮ ᱟᱵᱚ ᱫᱚ ᱵᱟᱵᱚᱱ ᱩᱨᱩᱢ ᱟᱠᱟᱫ ᱠᱚᱣᱟ ᱟᱨ ᱵᱟᱵᱚᱱ ᱵᱟᱲᱟᱭ ᱟᱠᱟᱫ ᱠᱚᱣᱟ ᱜᱚᱡ ᱦᱚᱲ ᱠᱚ ᱞᱟᱹᱜᱤᱫ ᱛᱮ ᱟᱵᱚ ᱫᱚ ᱵᱟᱵᱚᱱ ᱩᱨᱩᱢ ᱟᱠᱟᱫ ᱠᱚᱣᱟ ᱟᱨ ᱵᱟᱵᱚᱱ ᱵᱟᱲᱟᱭ 
തങ്ങളുടെ ജീവിതകാലത്ത് അങ്ങേ വചനം പ്രഘോഷിച്ചു അവിടുത്തെ സഭാ സമൂഹത്തിന് നിസ്വാർത്ഥ സേവനം ചെയ്തും ഇഹലോ വാസം വെടിഞ്ഞ മെത്രാന്മാർ വൈദികർ ദീക്കന്മാർ എന്നിവരെയും ഹൃദയപൂർവ്വം ദൈവത്തെ ആരാധിക്കുകയും സ്നേഹിക്കുകയും നിഷ്കളങ്കമായി അവിടുത്തെ ശുശ്രൂഷിക്കുകയും ചെയ്തുകൊണ്ട് അങ്ങേക്കായി സ്വന്തം ജീവിതം സമർപ്പിച്ച് മൃതിയടഞ്ഞ എല്ലാ സമർപ്പിതർക്കു വേണ്ടിയും ഞങ്ങൾ പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു I will say of the Lord you are my refuge and fortress my God in whom I trust God of mercy and compassion we lift our brothers and sisters in India to you we pray for your protection we pray for your provision we pray for the nations of earth to have compassion when we are in need you are our refuge compassionate god draw close to all who seek your refuge today amen let us pray Almighty and merciful God who show your love to all creation graciously hear the prayers we make for all those affected by the corona virus in various parts of the world we come before you asking for a full control of the outbreak for a healing of those affected for the victims and their families We pray for the caregivers the doctors nurses and attendants that they may be protected from the infection and strengthened in spirit We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people We make this prayer through Christ our Lord Amen, Amen. litany of supplications your response we adore you o lord we adore you o lord true god and true man truly present in this holy sacrament we adore you o lord our savior god with us faithful and rich in mercy we adore you o lord king and lord of creation and history we adore you o lord conqueror of sin and death we adore you o lord friend of human kind risen and living at the right hand of the father we adore you o lord your response we believe in you o lord we believe in you o lord only begotten son of the father who descended from heaven for our salvation we, we believe in you o lord heavenly doctor who inclines over our misery we, we believe in you o lord sacrificed lamb who offers himself to save us from evil we, we believe in you o lord good shepherd who gives his life for the flock he loves we, we believe in you o lord living bread and medicine of immortality who gives us life eternal we, we believe in you o lord your response free us o lord free us o lord from the power of satan and the seductions of the world free us o lord from pride and from the presumption that we can do without you free us o lord 
from the deceptions of fear and anguish. Free us, O Lord, from unbelief and despair. Free us, O Lord, from hardness of heart and the incapacity to love. Free us, O Lord. Your response, save us, O Lord. Save us, O Lord. From all the evils that afflict humanity. Save us, O Lord. From hunger, famine, and egoism. Save us, O Lord. From disease, epidemics, and fear of our brothers and sisters. Save us, O Lord. From devastating folly, from merciless interests, and from violence. Save us, O Lord. From deception, misinformation, and manipulation of consciences. Save us, O Lord. Your response, console us, O Lord. Console us, O Lord. Look upon your church, which is crossing the desert. Console us, O Lord. Look upon humanity, terrified by fear and anguish. Console us, O Lord. Look upon the sick and the dying, oppressed by loneliness. Console us, O Lord. Look upon doctors and health care workers, overwhelmed by fatigue. Console us, O Lord. Look upon politicians and administrators who bear the weight of decisions. Console us, O Lord. Your response, give us your spirit, O Lord. Give us your spirit, O Lord. In the hour of trial and confusion. Give us your spirit, O Lord. In temptation and in weakness. Give us your spirit, O Lord. In the battle against evil and sin. Give us your spirit, O Lord. In the search for true good and true joy. Give us your spirit, O Lord. In the decision to remain in you and in your friendship. Give us your spirit, O Lord. Prayer for the departed souls. Let us pray. In your hands, O Lord, we humbly entrust our brothers and sisters. In this life, you embraced them with your tender love. Deliver them now from every evil and bid them eternal rest. The old order has passed away. Welcome them into paradise where there will be no sorrow, no weeping or pain, but fullness of peace and joy with your Son and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pause for a moment of silence in remembrance of all who have died of COVID-19 and non-COVID. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon them. May the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Consecration of the Church in India to the most sacred heart of Jesus and to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Heart of Jesus Christ, healer of souls, beloved Son and face of the Father's mercy, the Pilgrim Church in our beloved motherland, India, looks to your open side, the fountain of our salvation, and begs you, in this particular hour of distress, watch over your church, inspire the leaders of the nations, listen to the poor and the afflicted, exalt the humble and the oppressed, heal the sick and the sinners, raise up those who are bowed down and disheartened, 
release captives and prisoners and deliver us from the pandemic which besets us. Heart of Jesus Christ, healer of souls, the pilgrim church in our beloved motherland, India, gazes upon you and begs you. In this particular hour of distress, sustain the children, the elderly, and the most vulnerable. Comfort the physicians, nurses, healthcare professionals, and voluntary caregivers. Strengthen families and reinforce us in fellowship and solidarity. Be the light of the dying. Receive the deceased in your kingdom. Turn away all evil from us and deliver us from the pandemic which besets us. Heart of Jesus Christ, healer of souls and son of the Blessed Virgin Mary, through the heart of your mother, accept the consecration of your church in our beloved motherland, India, and deliver us from the pandemic which besets us. By consecrating ourselves to your most sacred heart, the symbol of saving love, may we help continue the redemption of all people from the scourge of sin, pain, suffering, and the finality of death. We hereby entrust our beloved motherland, India, to the protection of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, who leads our way to your Divine Heart. May the Blessed Virgin Mary be the health of the sick and the refuge of your disciples, born at the foot of the cross of your love. May the Immaculate Heart of Mary, to whom we entrust ourselves, stay with us. In this particular hour of distress, receive those who have died, encourage those who consecrate themselves to you, and renew the universe and all humankind. Amen. Let us pray. Father of mercies and God of all consolation, bless us all with your untiring love. Comfort us in our loss and sorrow. Gently wipe away every tear from our eyes and lift us up from the depths of our grief. May the love and the peace of Jesus, your Son, sustain us in hope. And may your Holy Spirit strengthen and console us until at last we are all reunited with those who went before us. Amen. Blessed be God, blessed be His holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be His most sacred heart, blessed be His most Blessed be Jesus, in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary. Blessed be your holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be your glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, our most Jesus. Blessed be God in his angels and in his 